We need cultural standards. Our entertainment is what shouldn't be standardized. There's nothing wrong with society having traditions, provided those traditions aren't genuinely hurting anyone. We need some social pressures, social standards, visual standards, behavioral standards. It doesn't matter if you feel they're part of a system of oppression. If nobody is actually stopping you from living your life how you want, then their opinions of you shouldn't really matter. Facebook isn't real life. If you go to somewhere in public looking like this, like I did, wearing a belly shirt and short jorts that are raggedy on the bottom, people aren't going to come up to you to tell you how fierce you are. They might wince or grimace or have a look of horror. Some might even say aloud that you look stupid. I'll never forget when I was dressed that way and I was going to go to a weed dispensary and some people in the parking lot were pointing and laughing. <laughs> Who does this fool think he is? Never forget that. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's normal. Some things look ridiculous to most people. Some ideas suck. It doesn't matter who came up with them either. Yeah, we live in a society. We live in a civilization. We can either be a part of it, we can try to live separate from it, or we can try to dismantle it. I don't think dismantling it is a good option, because what will replace it will probably be far worse. The grass is always greener on the other side, especially if the other side's grass is just a hypothetical picture of grass. And no, society is not your friend, but it's always going to exist. Part of becoming mature is being at peace with the overarching patterns that we see. So I'm going to sit back and watch the show. There's really nothing I can do about it. I can just watch, analyze, maybe talk about it a little bit, and hope for the best. Have a joy, joy day!